Los Metros is a faction of a Mexican drug trafficking organization known as the Gulf Cartel. The group was formed in the late 1990s during the reign of Ogil Cardenas Gillen, the former leader of the cartel, to provide security to the organization's leaders as the cartel's armed wing. The leader of Los Metros, Mario Ramirez Trevino, alias X-20, was arrested on the 17th of August 2013. Fight with Los Rojos In the late 1990s, Ogil Cardenas Gillen, the former leader of the Gulf Cartel, had other similar groups besides Los Zetas established in several cities in Tamaulipas. Each of these groups were identified by their radio codes. The Rojos were based in Reynosa, the Metros were headquartered in Matamoros, and the Lobos were established in Laredo. The infighting between the Metros and the Rojos of the Gulf Cartel began in 2010, when Juan Mejia Gonzalez, nicknamed LR1, was overlooked as the candidate of the regional boss of Reynosa and was sent to the Frontera Chica, an area that encompasses Miguel Alman, Camargo and Ciudad Mir, directly across the U.S.-Mexico border from Star County, Texas. The area that Mejia Gonzalez wanted was given to Samuel Flores Borrego, suggesting that the metros were above the Rojos. Unconfirmed information released by the Monitor indicated that two leaders of the Rojos, Mejia Gonzalez and Rafael Cardenas Vila, teamed up to kill Flores Borrego. Cardenas Vila had held a grudge on Flores Borrego and the metros because he believed that they had led the Mexican military to track down and kill his uncle Antonio Cardenas Gillen, Tony Tormenta, on 5 November 2010. Other sources indicate that the infighting could have been caused by the suspicions that the Rojas were too soft on the Gulf Cartel's bitter enemy, Los Zetas. When the Gulf Cartel and Los Zetas split in early 2010, some members of the Rojos stayed with the Gulf Cartel, while others decided to leave and join the forces of Los Zetas. Insight Crime explains that the fundamental disagreement between the Rojos and the Metros was over leadership. Those who were more loyal to the Cardenas family stayed with the Rojos, while those loyal to Jorge Eduardo Costilla Sanchez, like Flores Borrego, defended the metros. Originally, the Gulf Cartel was running smoothly, but the infighting between the two factions in the Gulf Cartel triggered when Flores Borrego was killed on the 2nd of September 2011. When the Rojos turned on the metros, the largest faction in the Gulf Cartel, Firefights broke throughout Tamaulipas and drug loads were stolen among each other, but the metros managed to retain control of the major cities that stretch from Matamoros to Miguel Alman, Tamaulipas. References